to moving. I mean, some of the stocks that we traded yesterday are moving from, you know, uh, moving today again. So we're going to check all of those stocks out. I mean, we got this really nice runner right here, this uh, this GT, uh, this GTTC, this thing that you can see from after hours. I mean, what an unbelievable runner. This stock literally ran within, you can see it right here, beautiful runner. Let me blow up this stock up a little bit higher so you guys can see it. So you can see right here, this stock basically went from $3 right about the first five minutes, last five minutes of the close. What a pop. It ran all the way to four fifty dollars after hours, six stock. I mean, I, we see this in pre-market. Very, very rarely we ever see it in the after hours. But let me tell you, this stock is moving again this morning. Now, I did go check over here on my level four on the GT, the uh, GTTC. And iceberg orders, you know, a lot of them are starting to fill up right around here, around $10. You could see it right there. And then, you know, you got these, these starting to get in a ladder effect. Now, the stock is up a lot when you're really thinking about it. So... I would be really, really cautious on trading it. I mean, you could see at seven o'clock, it did run from like 650 up to 10. That was basically, I mean, that's pretty volatile. So, but we'll put it on the watch list, the GTTC. All right. So anyway, let's go over some of the stocks that we're trading for today because there are a bunch of them. So, but before we do that, let's go hop on and talk about what you guys missed yesterday. Because once again, we got a lot of people here that are on social media and they don't get the opportunity to kind of, Maybe you're watching this as a recording or so on, but let's go talk about what happened yesterday. I'd like to start off with this PW, uh, this PWM. So this stock, you could see it's kind of like a new IPO. Stock was literally about five dollars, went all the way up to almost twenty-seven, almost actually all the way to thirty. But right in the middle of the day, so this is the thing: the mo the best times to trade, which you all know, is right here. You know, is, is the first hour and the last hour of the close. And in the middle of the day, you do get some good movements over there. So I always like to show the mouse pad because everyone should be having one on their desk. So you need that something to remind you. But there are times that there are things that move in the middle of the day, depending on where you're from, maybe you're from uh, out, you know, different parts of the country, whatever it may be, or part of the world. But this stock just literally went from 14 to 27. It got halted. It was great. Beautiful runner. She's still strong, but I, I'm a little nervous. The only thing that, that makes her pretty good is because she is a new IPO. There, It's an on uncharted territories. I would probably put this on the B list if we don't find anything. So once again, how a stock becomes a day trade, they turn into swing trades, they become to investments. This stock I thought was absolutely fabulous yesterday. So this stock did everything that we were looking for trading it. This thing just literally, we were done at 1030 commentary, you saw the writing on the wall. And then sure enough, within a couple of minutes later, maybe someone was listening to us, but when we do, we were off, off air, but I know everyone was still in the room, but this thing just went from 525, shot up to 650, like a rocket. And you could see it right here. Um, it, it really had a nice Fausto flag. So once again, we cover that in class, those Fausto flags or consolidation. And, you know, we cover that you know, in the classes and in those workshops, what exactly what it was. You just had to be a little patient. But if you got it right down here, right, right around that 10 o'clock time frame, around 488, and you held it and you had that little push, you could see I was making higher highs. You did really, really well with that stock right there. Nice little move right there on the GRRR. Carvana, I mean, this thing, I, I don't know what to say. Can't say anything bad about it. This thing has just been treating us so well. The problem with Carvana now, it's not, it's not your, you know, stock you want to take home as much as we used to. It's got very volatile. It was nice in the beginning. It was category two, three. Now this thing's getting to the fours. So it's still good. You know, it's been a great swing trade. I mean, it's up about $10 from where we saw it at 25 to 35. So the stock has done great. It, it just literally took off. And what was nice about this one, it came up a little late. So we saw the stock. I forgot who mentioned it um, in the cyber group room when we watched it, but I think a lot of us did catch on to this stock right here when it made its big move right around here. You can see it right around, what time was that? Around nine, about 10 o'clock, right? It was right around 29.50. Thing just shot up, beautiful. I, I did great on that trade. So, you know, that, that really kinda was a staple of the morning was the Carvana trade. And VAX, another one, big runner up, 7.50, went up to 9.50. This is everything that you guys missed yesterday. PLTR, I'm putting back on the watch list. PLTR. PLTR has been on a great swing trade, kind of 
died out in the month of June to July. It's testing some resistance levels back in June, which is right around the highs, around 1691, right around there. Okay, so we're almost there. That's pretty close. But we'll put that on the B list. That one rolled in there. Sophie, just, just, a, just a constant uptrend. Did a little shake early in the morning and just went from eight dollars up to eight seventy. Not a big winner, but nice. Look at all. I mean, I mean, listen. I told you this yesterday. Coming back from a long, you know, this not a weekend. It was Fourth of July. It was a long week, and maybe even longer than that because people take off the couple of days before and then they come the day after. But people back to work. You had Juneteenth. It was another holiday that kicked in. It was a very awkward June. But now July's here, and you can see it. UPST, another big winner, did great. Affirm, another great winner. That one's going back on the watch list. AFRM, still got a push up. Stocks of 5%, 40,000 shares, you know, small tier size. Riot, Mara, they all were also very good too. Those actually pushed in the afternoon. I know Josh was, you know, listen, you could see here on the swing trade, $10 stock up to 16. And one last other stock I do want to point out was Kava. That was another one, a new IPO. Kava is testing some resistance levels around here, 45. You could see it had a great push going into here. I did a swing trade on, on, on Kava. I was talking about it yesterday that I was in the city when I was at NASDAQ. I had to do when I was doing a speaking there. I, I was running out of time, so I wanted something quick to eat. I saw this long line of the store, Kava. And I'm like, and it's all like millennials. I mean, everything there was like $15. And the line was probably about maybe 60, 70 people online. I'm like, my God, I was like, wait a minute, did this company go public? So anyway, that made me jump into that stock that did well. I mean, listen, there was a lot to trade yesterday, a lot to trade. So for everyone here that missed it, you came in late. This is the beauty about what we do. Today is a new day. There's always new stocks to trade. They're every, that's why people love the day trading market, because if you know how to do it, then you'll know what to swing trade. Then you'll know what options to trade. And I know I repeat it every morning, but this is what has to sink in into your head because you know you could just make your days pay and that's it. But once again, it's all about surrounding yourself with the right team. So we're gonna go through the watch list. And by the way, if you're watching on social media, on the top left-hand corner, you'll notice that you have a little QR code. You just click on that QR code, take your phone, scan it. If you wanna come and join the trading room, you're more than welcome to, all right? Because we're going to be, we do this all day long. Let's go through the watch list. So we got the GT, the GDTC. That one's got a nice push. It's the biggest percentage gainer right now. I'm just a little concerned because the stock is up about maybe 200, 300% from yesterday. So I'll be a little cautious on that one. Here's a nice little level one stock right here. She's not really moving that much. She is up 37%. She did trade 10 million shares. Very tradable, nice tight spread. It might be a good beginner trader. Not a doesn't look like the most volatile stock as of right now, but I would put this on the B list. CIG, uh, CING also big big pop right here. You can see the stock started backing off. I know some of us were trading it, looking at it this morning, but then she started backing off. Once she once around a, a buck fifty, when she made a, a higher low, that should have been the wake up call when to get out. So anyway. Probably going to pass on this one. DFLI, another big runner up here. Let me blow up the screen, see a little bigger. So this one just obviously news came out and she kind of flatlined right here. She's up by 12%, very tradable stock on the B list though. DFLI, meaning if it's on the B list or the C list, it's not my first to go stock that we're going to look at as just traders in the room. All right. ABOS, kind of flat. NCTY, 11%. SDIG, I mean, it's up about 100,000 shares, 10%, spreads pretty wide. I mean, this thing's been doing great, you know, the last couple of days. But let me go back from yesterday. You can see it really very, very spotty. It's just like, it looks like more of like a swing trade than more of a day trade more than anything. I don't know if I'm really a fan of it. Um, FNGR, same thing. Great run up, good swing trade, but pre-market, not really the most attractive. All right, losers, any good losers, any dead cow bounces? Doesn't look like anything showed up there. New York, we always expect New York. Not really that much out there on New York usually, but who knows? Let's check it out. We got the WYY. Looks like I had an early run up this morning. That one looks pretty good. 
trade about 200,000 shares. Looks like program trading kicked in around 9 a.m. W-Y-Y. That one's not terrible. W-Y-Y. SOS. Mm, did pretty well yesterday, but doesn't look like it's doing anything else. XPEV, we traded the stock a couple of times. XPEV has actually been been very well to us, done done well. It's got good volatility, good spread. Um, looks like she got some good movement here. Looks like it's packing up, probably put on the B list. Not completely sold on that. Losers, and yeah, nothing really right here. All right, so we got we we have a pretty decent list. Um, you can see it right here. I'm gonna post it on our, our on our Instagram. So I don't know if you guys been following me on Instagram, but I'm taking photos, screenshots, and kind of showing you some of the stocks on the watch list, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you if you want to write it down, but um, if you missed it, just subscribe to that, and we'll get that to you. But other than that, I mean, just be careful of the stocks that we trade yesterday. Anything I'm missing, I did not call out. Michael in the cyber group room says the OV. The I O I O V A big pop yesterday, big drop today. Well, listen, whatever goes up comes crashing down. You can see that, Michael, and that's a good call. But I don't know if it's on your short list. There was a lot of stocks. You got to be careful because I know if you are, you know, in the in that mindset that you want to short these stocks, you got to make sure you check to see if the stock is on your short list. Usually, what I do is I'll put an order at some ridiculous number on the offer. And it'll tell me right away if it's shortable or not. All right. But uh, but that pretty much does it. That's pretty much a good list. Now, listen, today is Tuesday. Okay. Now, let me remind you. At 1030, we have traders talk. So we're going to broadcast that live. So once we're done trading in the morning from 930 to 1030, we're going to have a class from 1030 to, um, 1030 to 11, 1145, you know, 1130 or 1115. So we're going to pick up right from there. We're going to have traders talk. So don't don't miss that. It's one of the most exciting events that we do here at Cyber Training University once a week. And then um, and then I will be live tomorrow on Wall365. So if you guys haven't registered, um, I will be on that event. I know a lot of you probably getting emails uh, of all the presenters, all the top gurus are there. But I'll be there tomorrow doing an event at 10 a.m. So I'll see everybody there. So let's get ready for the market. Open up already. already. Listen, be very careful. Yesterday was a great day. You know, let's just always keep in mind. The, the tip of the day is do not get cocky. You know what? The goal is when we do teach you your journals, we show you how to find those stocks, make your day's pay. And then sometimes you're in one of these stocks and they just take off, just like what happened with Carvani yesterday. And you know what? That's what it's all about. Just being at the right place at the right time. Um, Michael says, just check out one stock, uh, TAOP. So TAOP, yeah, very good call. Um, 80, 80, very good call, good pop. Just be very careful. It's under a dollar, okay? So we all know how to be careful of that, right? But yes, good call on that, Michael. T-A-O-P, great pop right there, 70 cents to 90. Looks like a hit just hit the dollar. The news, news must have just came out on it. Just made a big move at 9 a.m. program trading. All right, let's get ready, cyber traders. Good luck today. Happy trading. We'll start commentary when the market opens up. If you're watching on social media, once again, you got that little QR code. Just take your phone. Turn on the camera, scan it. We'll get you in that trading room, all right? You come and join us. Thanks, everyone. Happy trading. Be safe.